General Flynn's movie is out. I've watched it twice. You need to find out what happened inside the White House at the highest level of national security. Here's General Flynn in his own words. General Michael Flynn, your movie is out. I've watched it twice. It really grabs you by the heart and doesn't let go. Why the movie? Why did you have to tell your story this way? And for all the viewers out there, we're going to promote it. But I want to know from the horse's mouth, why'd you make the movie? Yeah, thanks very much for having me on. We made the movie because I wanted to tell my story uh, and I wanted to do it through the lens of my family and my faith and the persecution that my family, my entire family went through. It's not only important uh, historically because of everything that, that happened to the country at the time, but it's also important for where we're going as a nation. And if you can understand, as, as we talk about in the movie, if you can understand my story and what happened to me, then you'll understand exactly what's happening to the United States of America right now. And, and, and will continue to happen as we go forward. So, so it's a very powerful, very intimate, uh, inspirational story of survival. And, and people will meet uh, not only, you know, the people that, that join me with it, join me in it, which is Tucker Carlson and Devin Nunez, but they'll also meet members of my family, especially my wife, and my son, but also my brothers and sisters, uh, a niece who helped my, you know, my, my law team that was formed by Sidney Powell. But uh, just a tremendous, tremendous, inspiring story of how we decided to fight back and we won. We beat the Department of Justice, we beat the intelligence community, we beat the system. And from that inspirational component of this movie, Flynn, deliver the truth, whatever the cost, people can find it at flynnmovie.com. They will understand what uh, what President Trump is going through, what the J6ers are going through, and what the American people are currently experiencing. And, and, and in it, you'll find solutions. You'll find ideas about what to do. And the big question, the big question from that film that I want people to take away and ask themselves is, what are you willing to fight for? Because if you're willing to fight for something, as I learned in, the, in my military experiences, you're willing to die for something, right? And I always say we don't go to war because we hate our enemies. We go to war because we love our families. We love our country. And that's the message. That's the big theme that comes out of that, that film. And it is a, it's still, we're still number one on Amazon, which uh, is uh, humbling and it's remarkable to me, but that's because people are starving for the truth. And believe me, folks, when you, when you watch this film, you'll understand what I mean. You'll understand what I mean about the truth. The response has been extraordinary. You are doing your team basically guerrilla marketing, yeah. um, taking a film and going cross country with you and your group saying, hey, we've got a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't resonating with the American public, you'd be talking to empty rooms. Nobody would be showing up. And I'm seeing stories where you're selling out in cities across America. Why is that? Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, and I made the decision that I, you know, because I'm so censored still, I, I made the decision about a couple of months after we finished filming. So over a year ago, well over a year ago, I made the decision I wanted to go around the country and do what I call a thank you tour. I wanted to go around, you know, the United States of America and thank people for helping my family and I get through this persecution. And I've been wanting to do that really ever since uh, I got, you know, I, I uncoiled from everything back in 2020. And so I used the film to be able to do this thank you tour. One of the things that we did was we went to 33 cities and we did it in 52 days. We drove 18,000 miles around the nation. Amazing. I mean, it's an amazing, uh, and, and, and we were embraced everywhere that we went. We, we, we never fell short of a sold out audience. And we did everything either by word of mouth, or I would do like a radio call-in show, you know, 
going into a city a, a day before or the morning of we were we were going to places and we only had like 40 tickets sold you know a couple of days prior we'd show up and we had over 600 people attend so the word of mouth as we got further and further into our into our uh, our tour the word of mouth was getting around the country and people were like oh my god and you know and and we ended up uh, like i said 33 cities i think we touched at least 40 or 41 states. I mean, just an amazing, amazing experience for me. Plus, I wanted to give people an in-person, live, premier type experience. I wanted to be there myself. I wanted to be able to say thank you. I wanted to be able to show them the, uh, the film. And then, uh, then we stayed after every single night, after every time we showed the film, I would stay there and we would do a Q&A with the audience. And we would, I would stay there for hours. I mean, we stayed there for two, three, sometimes four hours after showing the film, because I wanted to connect with the American people to let them know that in many cases, just to sort of touch me, to feel me, to make sure that, you know, they knew, yeah, I was a real person and this was a real thing. And the, and the movie itself, as you said earlier, the movie itself is a very emotional film. It, it will bring you to tears. There will be times you'll laugh, um, but it is a, it is a very, uh, it's a, it is an American story of a, of a guy, in my case, myself, who served this country for 33 years, five of those years in combat. And as I stayed in the movie, the worst enemy that I ever faced was my own government, was elements with inside of my own government. And, and you know, that's, that's still, and, and everybody feels it. So everybody today, all your the great audience that is out there, everybody sees that now that the, that the threat that we face is this weaponized government, this weaponized justice system, weaponized Department of Justice, weaponized rule of law, weaponized intelligence community. And instead of weaponized against our adversaries overseas, they're weaponized against people who are conservative minded, people who are patriots, people who love this country, who love America. I mean, that's the only way I can look at it, because if you look at the categories of who they're going after, they're going after people who, frankly, just want to be left alone by the government and, want to, and don't mind paying taxes, don't mind doing the things that we're asked to do, but want to live in a free and fair and, uh, and, and just uh, system of, uh, of, of government where there's, a, where there's a rule of law that's consistent for everybody and not just for, for you know, those of us that stand up for, for honesty, for truth, for, for you know, being, a, being just an American patriot. It's, it's incredible. So we did all that, the people resonated with us, I mean, it, it, again, it was very humbling. Uh, I was deeply honored. And from that, from that, Mary, we, we, have, um, we have probably another 50 requests to come back to different cities because the word of mouth gets out. And that's the best way for anybody. You know, the best way to get, to get the word out is to get it out through word of mouth. And especially after somebody has watched it. When people, you know, I get calls from the media and they're like, they want to talk to me about something, you know, about, you know, some aspect of it, or they want to talk to me about some other political issue. And I'm like, have you seen the movie yet? And they're like, nope, I haven't seen the movie. And I said, well, when you watch the movie, then come back to me and I will, I'll give you an interview. I'll do an interview with you. No problem. And because once you see the movie, I guarantee universally, 100% people that have watched this movie that have come up to me, they have said, you changed my life. I did not know. I did not realize what we were up against. I did not. I thought I knew your story, but oh my God, I learned so much more because I talk about things in the movie that are uh, that I've never talked about before. <laughs>